what kind of information did you glean from your new hires that you were able to use? Um, you know, most of it's kind of technical, like, oh, we couldn't get access to this very quick or, you know, little okay. things here and there, but it's, it's those little things that we aren't aware of because we're used to it being there. Mm -hmm. right? Like, like it's just, and, but can have a big impact. Like you, you just take for granted the things that are so obvious after, you know, five, 10 years at somewhere where someone coming fresh coming in, it's like, I don't know how to access that. I don't even know what that is. So like, where do I go to do that? Right. Like, and, that's right. And, right. It's, it's building out, like we have, we have a checklist for like our, and we have buddies that help them, like technical buddies that help them through the first, you know, well, gosh, I, I still talk to my buddy from when I started long, long ago. So wow. I mean, yeah. Wow. yeah. So, I mean, it's like an opportunity to build a relationship with someone that you feel comfortable and that's a colleague that you can interact with, with the, you know, stupid questions, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, the questions that you don't want to ask your manager because you're like, oh, I don't want to look bad or, you know, but you have a friend to be like, hey, how do you do this? Or how do you submit? That's this? great. Yeah. Well, I mean, I find not feeling heard. It, I was shocked. Yeah. I was shocked when I did my first class, my online class, Kick Conflict to the Curb. Yeah. Why am I pointing? <laughs> it's <laughs> habit. It's like, habit, like, right? like, <laughs> like drinking water. And then anyway, um, I did not know that people who signed up, they were either leaders or direct reports, mm -hmm. and they didn't feel heard and they didn't know how to use their voice. And I saw a pattern and that's why a, a lot of the things that I'm doing, it's just to make sure people feel heard. So what you're doing with your new, you know, onboarding with your new hires is I don't care whether it's a stupid question or whatever, right. you're making them feel heard. Exactly. And this is insane how leaders don't know it's as, to give them the voice. Right. It's so yeah. easy. But it's so obvious, and yet we don't. We do, but so many people don't do <laughs> right, it. Right. So it's it's often missed because you know, once well, kind of a reflection of what's going on in the world. Everything's so fast paced. Everything's changing at an instant. And it's like mm -hmm. little things are being missed because you're just drowning in other stuff, right? Like it's yes. it's unfortunate because it's important because when people have a voice and people can you know talk to individuals and innovations come from it you know, creativity comes from it. Absolutely. Uh, strength comes from it. You know, confidence comes from it. So it's, it's important. And it's something that's, you know, nice. Like, and I tell, like when we're in that meeting talking about how to make things better, mm -hmm. we, like, I tell them like, listen, this is a majority of how we onboard people is because of what we've already heard from others that have been on board before you. Like, there you go. this is how we create a better onboarding system. Like we, we need this feedback. Like this is how we get better without you guys. Like we're not going to make it any better because we're removed from it. Right. We're far down the line. We don't see, we don't see the challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. 